<laughs> all right you already know what it is guys so it's already in the title we ordered some more alpha lead the new launch came out earlier it is already five o'clock it came out at 10 p.m my time central standard time i think that's what it is so i it's already five i didn't just order it now i ordered it earlier at like 12. i actually took a nap but i ordered it when i woke up nothing sold out that i in my size so at least when i ordered so if you guys got unlucky i'm sorry but nothing sold out in my size when i ordered so i'm good i got everything i wanted and i'm gonna show you what i got because this video is going to be a haul an unboxing a review of the new alpha elite launch so this video will actually take a while before i can actually edit it and upload it but i'm going to record the part of what i got now let me flip the camera i'm gonna actually do a whole different clip so that i can make sure i have the right angle so i don't show anything of my information all right i was going to show what it is on the alpha elite light uh the alpha elite site but i ended up just not doing that just because it's easier to just show here. Anyways, I ended up just getting all of this, um, these hoodies, this stuff. So I got some decent stuff. Um, I'm going to flip the camera now. Hold on. I'm just avoiding showing you my information. Um, that's why I'm not really keeping my camera over there, and I'm not trying to focus on everything I got. I, I'll just name what I got. I got a black pair of, of identity shorts, so they're basically squat shorts, so they're going to be kind of short on the legs, so I probably won't be wearing those to school or anything like that, but I will be wearing them to the gym, obviously. Um, they're like cotton shorts, so they are basically like their identity joggers, which I ordered two pairs of. I ordered a black and white pair, so it's like the black, and then their logo is going to be white. Um, I was supposed to get black on black, but I ended up actually ordering the white ones, but I don't really care. They're the same thing, so I ordered that. A pair of light gray joggers of the identity series. Um, the performance hoodie black camo for... Um, so black camo. It's basically like the one I have on now, except I think that the new one has like a line underneath it. And if you can't tell, this design is literally my favorite hoodie because it's got like this lifted like 3D. It's just super cool. Honestly, if you guys haven't bought like an Alpha Elite hoodie, I highly recommend their hoodies. Their hoodies to me are the best hoodies I've ever owned. Like, yes, Gymshark has good hoodies, but these hoodies are in a whole different league. Obviously, they might be expensive. These ones, they definitely up the prices on their new hoodies. Which is fine as long as it's worth the money to me. Like these hoodies, I think they were like fifty-four dollars. Um, they did up them a little bit from the first time I bought hoodies, but the, the quality is just going up. They're getting a little bit bigger. So like the first one, I have a red one over there. If you guys um see me working in my red one, I don't know if I've ever done a video in my red one, but they're the same thing as this, except they just updated the fits. Like I I didn't have YouTube when I got these hoodies or the other hoodies, but. They've updated the fit so it's bigger than it was before when it was fifty dollars, and then it is. I, I don't know what the difference is now between this one and that one. Um, when they, but obviously I'll I'll be able to tell once I get the hoodies and I put them on and I feel them. But um, I ended up getting three shirts. Um, one in red, crimson is the color they chose to call it. Um, a blue hoodie or not a blue hoodie, a blue shirt. It's like a light blue. It looks cool, and a charcoal core performance shirt which just has Alpha Leap right across the like um, chest. So. I wanted one of those. I have one in black and white, and that's that's all I got. And a pink, no, rogue is the color they chose to call it. It's basically pink, um, like a pastel-y pink um, hoodie, 58 bucks. Um, the black performance camo hoodie, if you, if you guys notice that I'm looking over this because I'm reading the exact names of it. So um, the black hoodie, the black camo is actually like, it was $64 as much as their joggers were. So that's the most expensive hoodie I have ever bought from them that was actually a little pricey for me though so i don't know why it's more expensive it might be just the design of it but that's still a little pricey i know that a lot of people don't really buy alpha Elite for the price purposes but it's supposed to be premium um athletic wear so it's not like gymshark it is gymshark is really good quality alpha Elite is supposed to be premium though so that's their difference in pricing but i don't know to me they're both good i do feel the difference in their clothing obviously you can tell one is a little bit thicker and feels like you're paying the price for what you're getting so I'm never really upset when I purchase this stuff. I think I might have been upset with like one or two items, maybe at max. I think the only thing I've ever really not liked from Gym or Alphalete that I paid and I didn't think was worth the price was their premium um, camo joggers. They're more like leggings. I don't really like them that much. But the next clip you guys will see me will be probably in like two weeks because Alphalete takes a really long time with shipping, which is one problem I do have with Alphalete. I get it. Um, that they're a smaller company, they're not as big as Gymshark, and um, it takes a longer time when you guys have a new release. Obviously, I get all that stuff, but it still takes a really long time even when it's not a new release. Like if you get it after the launch and stuff, it still takes a really long time to get items. So that is my one problem with Alpha Elite's shipping is that it takes a long time. They don't have like a quick shipping um, purchase you can get. So 
we kind of just stuck waiting. So you guys will probably see this. I will see you guys in like two weeks, but for you, it'll be like a second. So I'll see you guys when I get the stuff. And this is just gonna be a straight on try on video. I'm not gonna do any workouts. It's just gonna be a straight haul and unboxing and review. So I'll see you guys then. All right, the date is now Thursday. And as you can see, the package is in. So this is the fastest shipping I've ever gotten from Alpha Elite from my personal experience. So I've ordered about four or five packages, about five packages now. Okay, I actually can't show you any of that. But packages here is probably, a pound, I, uh, I think the information said 6.6 .6 pounds. So it's here. I'm gonna open it up real quick and then I'll show you everything inside. All right, here we go. Everything we got the identity dark gray joggers right there. I think that's the dark gray. These are the identity joggers black. We got the frick, what's it called? Hold on, wait a sec. Okay, yeah, yeah. These are the shorts. These are identity jogger shorts. I got confused on what these are. Yeah, identity jogger shorts. The pink hoodie, the rogue. Rogue is the color. This looks really dope. This is probably my most anticipated item. We've got, what is this, crimson is the color they chose to call this, crimson per axis, axis t-shirt, I think that's what it's called. Got ourselves a charcoal shirt, and then, uh, I don't know what color they use for this one. Oh, it says right there, it says axis, doesn't say the color, but blue. And then the camo hoodie, so we're going to try all this on, and then you'll see, so give me a sec. I'm going to open it all up, but one thing Alpha Elite does better than Gymshark is the packaging. Obviously, if you can't tell, this looks way more premium, but they did bump up the prices, so let's see if it's worth it this time around. All right, first up, we've got the, I think this is, I don't, I don't know the actual name of this one specifically, the, the naming of the shirt style, but this is their charcoal shirt color. I don't really have any gray shirts anymore, which is why I chose to give myself a gray shirt. Um, that's the back. What are the... Basic, not much. Um, still has that new shirt smell. Really overwhelming. Um, fits nice. The fabric of it is up since like their last few launches. The first launch I ever bought anything from was really thin compared to this stuff. So the $28 shirts that they're selling now, I think are way more worth it. But I'm going to try on the other two colors. This is my first charcoal shirt from them. I like this. So I'm going to try on the other two colors. All right. This is the blue shirt that I chose to get. They always add like cool blue colors. Um, and I, don't, I forgot what the exact color of this blue is called, but it looks really nice. I like this blue. Um, they always have unique blues on their shirts. They always choose to come out with like a bunch of different types of blues. So I do like the color blue. I'd obviously, I, my favorite color from them so far has been um, royal blue, but nice shirt. I'm not even gonna try the crimson one on because it's just red. It's just a darker, different shade of red. And it's the same thing as this, but I'm gonna try on their short, their joggers now because apparently their joggers are supposed to be the best item in Christian Guzman's words they've ever released. So I'm gonna try on a pair of their joggers. I have a pair of their joggers on right now. These are some of my favorite joggers. So hopefully these either top or are the same as these, like same level, but these are some of my favorite joggers. I have some of their other joggers as well. They're decent, I like them, they're not bad. Um, they raised the price $64. Those were $50, I think, of the pair of joggers I originally had. These were $58, maybe. And I've bought their premium joggers. For me, I do not like their premium joggers much at all. But hopefully these are as good as they say they are. So I'm going to try those on now. Okay. So these are their joggers, their identity joggers. Um, they don't feel that different right now from what I'm seeing. They do have this little paneling, if you can see it on the back, on like this the side the left side um they have zippers on their joggers which i always have liked about alpha league zip uh, joggers and shorts is that they have zippers on all of them so front two zippers i like that um these aren't metal i think these are plastic they usually have the i forgot what these are called <laughs> the exact term but usually these are metal they're not metal they're plastic this time but they say alpha league dope um there is right here says Alphalete, cool. Um, doesn't feel that much different from their old ones. Does feel a little bit thicker. From what I can tell, it does feel a little bit nicer. It fits a little bit better around the knees though. And a little tighter down here, so people with small calves, like me, looks nice. And they feel comfortable, so, I mean, they're not. 
that big of a step on from what I can feel right now um, from their old joggers. I still like the joggers over here that I just had on a little bit more because they're like a whole different type of fabric. I'm going to try their black ones and see what the black ones feel like. Okay, so from what I can tell you is these black ones, they fit, for some reason they fit looser than these gray ones did over here. The black ones, so far I'm feeling a little more comfortable. They actually fit better on me. Like right here, those ones were, they had like some spacing here that looked weird. I don't know if maybe it went away, but these just fit so far to me a little bit better. A little more loose. Those ones felt like a little more tight than these ones do. The same embroidering here. Not embroidering. I don't know what this is considered, but it's like a lifted tag that's, I don't know, it's cool. And it's in white. I think there was black on black, which is what I was supposed to get, but I ended up getting the white ones on accident. But it's whatever, it's the exact same thing, but I do like these black ones a lot more than the gray ones. I will probably wear the gray ones, but I like these black ones a lot, whole lot more. All I have left to try on for the bottoms is the identity shorts, the squat day shorts. So I'm gonna try those on and I'm gonna give you my review on that. All right, so these are the identity jogger, or not jogger, yeah, technically jogger shorts. And okay, I can tell you right now, I've had these on for like less than 10 seconds and I love these shorts already. Like, hold on, um, you can, yeah, you can see my legs from here. Um, They probably like this far up, so maybe like two inches, which is exactly what they said would be from your knees. I'm wearing a small and it fits my leg, fits my legs all the way around perfectly, nice and like tight right around it. it feels really comfy like for a leg day I'm definitely gonna wear these because I have a pair of Nike jogger like fleece shorts and for like working out I don't really like them but like they're nice shorts I like them for just like like regular purposes I guess like sitting around the house but these for sure are probably my favorite fleece shorts I've ever tried on this is the first pair I've ever bought but when I saw that they were shorter and these, these are just nice, like, for sure, if you are guys are to get anything from the launch that they just did, I would recommend the Identity Black Joggers, and probably if their shorts are, all of these jogger shorts for their, uh, like, squat day shorts are like this, I would highly, highly recommend these. These are actually super comfortable so far, the most satisfying thing to get out of this launch, but now we have the two things that I'm waiting for the most, which would be the Rogue Hoodie and the Camo Hoodie, and I'm about to try those on right now. This is the black camo hoodie, which was probably one of my most anticipated items of this launch when I saw it get teased. And uh, then I saw the rogue hoodie and I, that was probably more anticipated. But so they did like the raised rubbery material they always do for their alpha elite, which is all my red one and the blue ones that I previously, previously purchased. This is um same thing, except it now has this line here of rubbery that says the year, I think that's what it is, but it's nice. It feels nice, obviously. It's, um, same as the other hoodies, but this is camo design. Um, I don't know how I feel about the camo design so far, really. It's um, it's camo, but it's all right. I mean, I expect a little bit nicer of camo. That's the back. So it's cool, but for me, I mean, I have a mirror over here, so I'm looking at it right now. Like, I don't really know how much. Like it's not, it's not as good as I thought it would be. I don't dislike it. I'm just neutral on it. It will, it looks good with these shorts. So I could definitely see myself wearing a pair of the, the black um, joggers along with this. Sixty-four pair dollars for those joggers, though. I don't know how much they lived up to the expectations that Christian Guzman set them for me. I feel like they could have been fifty-eight. This was also sixty-four dollars for this hoodie. Um, the Rogue one, fifty-eight. So six more dollars for this hoodie for the camo design, I assume not so much as worth as I thought it would be. It's cool. I've seen other companies do camo designs better, but this camo is not terrible. I'll still wear it. I, I like the hoodie. It's not, I don't dislike it. So, but I'm on to the final product that I've genuinely been super excited to try on the rogue hoodie. So if this doesn't live up to the expectations, I'm going to cry a little bit inside. Yeah. I love this hoodie. It is for sure probably my second favorite hoodie. My first probably being, I can't even tell you honestly, I really like their hoodies. My least favorite probably is this camo hoodie, but I really like this pink. The only thing that could have made it better for me would have been the raised 
Alphalete logo. That's like the large one. This one is still raised and rubbery. And I really like this one still. I love the color of it, if you can't tell. It's basically pink, called Rogue. I love this hoodie. This is for sure gonna be my primary go-to hoodie for the next week, probably, because I love this hoodie. For sure, so far, my favorite things have been the shorts. Definitely didn't expect these to be as good as they are. And this hoodie, I already knew I was gonna like the hoodie. So, for me, the hoodie, obviously, this lived up to it, $58. I'm cool with it. Like $50, $46 for these shorts. I'm cool with this outfit. I really like this. The shirt underneath, really nice. The shirts didn't disappoint. The shirts would never disappoint. They were only 28 bucks. The hoodie, the camel one, didn't live up quite as high as I wanted it to, but I don't dislike it. The gray joggers, I thought I ordered dark ones. I'm going to have to look back at my order, but those are light gray. They're okay. The black ones are better, but um, I think that was basically everything. I didn't try on the red shirt. Um, I think someone's about to come inside, so I'll talk to you in a second. <laughs> Alright, so basically they ended up coming into the uh, living room and yeah, whatever. I just moved the whole camera and setup and everything back over to my room. I'm not going to try on any more clothes because that was all the clothes I had except for that one red shirt. Um, I checked my order. Apparently I did order light gray joggers, sadly. I don't really like the light gray joggers too much. That's just me, light gray. Eh, I, I thought I got dark, dark gray, but I guess I got light gray. So I don't know if I'm going to keep the light gray ones. I might return them. But nothing against light gray. Nothing wrong with the joggers. Just for me, not light gray. Also, they didn't fit as good as the black ones did. I'm currently wearing the black ones. And yes, I just rewore those gray ones too. And I just didn't. And they're still not feeling the right for me. Black ones for sure I'm keeping. Also, the, um, the ends on the, the strings that you tie around your waist are actually metal I did make a mistake on that I didn't think they were metal but they're metal um so yeah I am gonna keep the black ones for sure love the black ones the black ones are great they feel nice they feel fit better they're just better to me for some reason I don't know if I just got unlucky with these gray ones or if I got lucky with these black ones or something but those gray ones just not for me so I might return those or I might sell them to someone else same price or maybe like two dollars cheaper because I put them on and they're not in the package anymore so of course, if someone wants to buy these off me, I'll sell them to someone, but I probably won't keep them. Might not, I don't know, unless they grow on me. Like the white ones. Um, favorite thing from the haul has to be between the hoodie, the pink one, the jogger, the jogger shorts, or the black joggers. So, great job on the black joggers and the hoodie, hopefully, really good job. Um, the shorts, amazing. 10 out of 10, well, we'd recommend those shorts. If you're gonna go work out, and you wanted some nice fleece shorts, they are 10 out of 10 worth the money. I love them. They make my legs literally feel huge, like they just feel like they're bursting out of them. They just fit so comfortably, like they're not like suffocating, but they like, they just fit right. They're just perfect. I personally, for me, my favorite item, the Identity Jogger Shorts, for sure. My favorite item out of everything. Maybe not my favorite, actually. <laughs> Probably the pink hoodie, but for sure. Um, if I had to rate this, um, what do you, what'd you call it? Um, launch, I would rate it maybe like a 7 or 8 out of 10. Just because I'm disappointed in those joggers. And the camo hoodie wasn't as amazing as I hoped it would be. Nothing wrong with the joggers. Just saying I didn't like the gray ones, the light gray ones. And I didn't really like the fit of them. For some reason, they just didn't fit as good as the black ones did. Um, I didn't wash any of it yet. Alphalete is made to wash and fit better, so if that's how those fit already, then I don't know how much I would like them if I were to wash them, so. For my legs, these didn't feel quite right. Jogger shorts felt great. Black ones feel real good, so I don't know what happened there, but the Black Friday sale is about to come, so I'm, I don't know. I'm not keeping, if I'm not keeping these jogger shorts, I might have to buy a different pair and see if I get the light gray ones. If they're on sale, then I'll see if those ones just, if I just got unlucky with the gray and for some reason these joggers just didn't fit that right. I don't know what it is, but I'm still super sad about these joggers for some reason. I just can't get my mind off of those. Were these joggers worth $64? The black ones, I would say are worth about 58 max. Were they worth the pricing to me? If it was lower, definitely. The pricing for $64, I don't know how much different it feels to me. I do feel a little bit thickness difference on, so yeah, it does feel a little bit different than their old ones. 
However, I don't know how much of a difference it is for a whole, I don't, like I said, I can't really remember the price off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure it was $14 and $14 difference. So I'm pretty sure the other ones were 50. If they weren't 50, I know they were still below 60. So these are breaking 60 and I don't know how much I'm willing to pay for another pair of joggers for these. Like I said, if Black Friday comes around and they have these joggers on sale for like 50 or 40 or something cool, I'll probably buy the gray, the dark gray ones and sell these ones before then or something like that. But I don't know how much of an improve these ones were. Like I said, I don't know. I think it was really worth the extra $14. Like I said, I don't know. I'm not accurate. So don't come at me. But I don't know how much worth it was for $64. It should have been about $54 max to me. $57, $58. If they were really pushing it, if it was really as worth. But the hoodie, for sure, $58. I love that hoodie. No regrets there. Camo one, $64. Definitely not worth it to me. Like that, that, that is amazingly expensive for the hoodie for just $6 difference of the camo design. The pink one, I like more. You could make the argument that it's worth more because of the, the um, larger like rubbery material, but at the same time, the rest of their hoodies that have that design that weren't camo were also $58. So again, I'll fully, I don't know what it was with that hoodie. I didn't like it that much. The camo was eh. The color was just not right for me. I think it's mainly the color because the color isn't really black camo. Like, it, like if can you see it in the light? It's more of a bluish, like a navy blue. I don't really like that. Sorry, that's just me. If you like that, you like that. But I'm probably gonna keep this hoodie still though because why not? Um, I got rid of my black hoodie that I sold so from Alphalete that I also didn't very really like very much, but. All right, this is a pretty long video. This is this video, but this clip right here is really long. I'm just going over everything basically, just give my honest review. Shirts, definitely worth it. This is my favorite shirt from Alphalete. Um, like I said, they have really upped their quality in shirts, stayed the same price point, so that that is perfect on your your part, Alphalete. Perfect, you know, keep the same price for your shirts. I love the shirts. Would highly recommend their shirts, $28, obviously, really nice. Prior to me, by I think it was okay. I don't even know what I'm trying to say there, but I would say two launches ago, I would say their shirts were they were okay. Now I would say since their last launch, I believe it was their last launch. I say their shirts are very worth the price because they have thickened them. The fabric just feels much more premium. It's thicker. You can like it just doesn't stretch. It just doesn't stretch the same. Like um, if you ever wear a shirt. And like the arm cuffing kind of just gets looser throughout the day. This doesn't really do that at all because of the, the thickened, they thickened the um, fabric. So I feel like it just feels nicer, feels thicker, just overall feels nicer. The shirt just is better. So I recommend their shirts. Had I known they would do this to their shirts, I probably wouldn't bought their shirts prior. Um, this red shirt right here that I hadn't tried on, I still have in the packaging is basically it's a little bit darker red than the first shirt i ever bought the first red ones had i known though it's the same like the same thing though so i basically have like two of the same alpha late shirts but these ones just feel nicer so had i known they were gonna up their shirt quality a launch or two away from when i first started buying alpha late, i probably would have waited out but i highly recommend their shirts their shorts the black joggers for me i like the pink hoodie rogue hoodie i really like so some of these items were really good the joggers Eh, the camo hoodie, eh. But obviously as time goes on, I'll probably like them more or less. I don't know. I'll find out. But um, like I said, like seven or eight out of ten. Um, next launch, I don't know how much I'll buy. Black Friday obviously will be cheaper. However, I just spent four hundred dollars on this launch because of the upping in the price. So Alpha Elite, please just lower your prices a little bit, make it a little bit more affordable, and we'll have no problems. But right now, as I'm seeing it. Prices are going up a little too fast for, I don't personally see the improvement in the, like I see some improvement in the joggers, but I don't see a large improvement to the point where it should be $64 or oh, that hoodie, the hoodies, okay, the hoodies, <laughs> I hit something, but the hoodie is for sure, I don't see the price rise, like I'm fine with the $50 hoodie, I really like that hoodie, I'm cool with paying that, so that's whatever to me, but they started off as $50 when I first bought off Elite, jumped up to $54, $58, okay, and now $64. I can't, I can't, do that. Like four, that is a $14 increase. I know that for sure. My red hoodie, I love. My blue hoodie, $54, I remember that price. Really nice hoodie, love the blue hoodie, wear it all the time. The pink hoodie, love, $4 more. Again, I'm okay with that. 
$64 for that hoodie. Again, I'm not feeling that one, so I don't know. Hopefully, just watch the prices a little bit more, but that is my honest review about the haul. Decently satisfied, not outstanding. I've had better hauls from them, so we will see what we get from the next launch. If I keep those joggers, if not, I probably won't. I don't know, but that's it for the video, guys.